Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are going to discuss CDI Torque Products. As many of you guys know, this is a Snap-on owned company. And we'll do a little quick comparison uh, with this versus Snap-on. All right, guys, this isn't going to be a straight apples to apples comparison. As you can see here, this is a digital and this is a click type. So it's not quite, you know, a 100% comparison, but some subtle details that kind of separate these two and why you pay more for the Snap-on versus the CDI. Okay, let's get into it. With the CDI Torque Wrench coming in at $187.99 versus the Snap-on coming in at $476 for the equivalent version of this Torque Wrench. And for the one that I'm doing the review on, $760 for the Digital Tech Angle. Digital Torque Wrench, this one has a max of 300 foot-pounds. Uh, the click type uh, goes up to 250 foot-pounds. So that's a little bit of a difference, and that may be why you have the extra leverage here. But if I remember right, maybe you guys could comment on this. Um, I believe there are two different models of the electronic one. One is 250, and the other one is 300, and they are both the same length. Uh, so if someone could get in the comments and let me know about that, that would help me out. But that may be the difference between this extra leverage here. Maybe not. But girth. I know Howard's going to say something about that girth comment, but we'll continue on like adults here. Just kidding. Um, but no, really, uh, this this thing, uh, the snap-on is much, much more heavy-duty and got a lot more girth to it. Um, so that's, you know, another justification of why you paid more. It's definitely built to handle heavier duty loads. And, you know, I could I could vouch for that. I've put tremendous amounts of torque on this thing, torquing head bolts and, and main bolts, and it, it holds up well. All right, let's get into the head here. Now, this is a quick release, and this is not, but um, besides that, and also this is a flex head, and this is not. You could tell, let's see if I can get in there. This is just, this lever bugs me. It's like full, like 90 degree turns. And then it has like a little neutral position. That annoys me. I like the 45 on off. I think that's just fine. But you could see here the head quality on the CDI is just not as well built as the Snap-on. It does have like a cheaper feel to it. And uh, you could see here in the neck part of it right here, that's pretty thin versus the girth again on the Snap-on. That thing's heavy duty right there. I don't entirely trust this section right here. I mean, time will tell as we use this. I'll hopefully do an update in the future, but that part is a concern of mine and contributes to the fact that you pay more for the Snap-on. Now, they are both made in USA, but it does say US and foreign parts, and I will bet my ass that this head right here is a Taiwanese head. It just has that feel to it, so keep that in mind, guys. Um, the neutral part about it, it being in the neutral position like that is it, it completely locks it in both directions, which could be frustrating, but also good for storage, I guess. I don't know. The handle, the handle, I know this, like I said, apples to apples doesn't work out because this is digital. It's got a wholly different handle. The mechanism to adjust it is smooth. I'll give it that. The laser etching on it is nice. But this plastic, this is like a plastic, hard plastic. Nah, not very good in a torque wrench, uh, in my opinion. Oily hands don't go good with this. And slippery, 
not much to grab onto. The knurled handle is a lot better. So as we break out one of my old school snap-ons right here, this thing's old. And uh, it's got the knurled handle on it. And even this thing, as old as it is, way better quality than the CDI. If budget is a concern of yours, the CDI is not a bad choice. Just know that when you invest money into a torque wrench, you're investing in quality for one and reliability. And I don't think it's one tool that you'd want to skimp out on as far as spending the money. So keep that in mind. If you are really on a budget and you need to get by and you need some decent quality, I do believe that CDI Torque is the way to go. And uh, if Snap-on trusts it, then I guess it's not a bad choice, but there's always the uh, the mothership right here, and these things won't let you down. So just a little quick uh, overview of these two, and if you were curious about the two and the differences, hopefully this helps you out, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.